At least 30 people have died in riots and arson attacks that have broken out across two states in northern India after a flamboyant spiritual leader was convicted of raping two of his female followers. The Indian Army was deployed in the city of Panchkula on Friday shortly after the court found Gurmeet Ram Rahim Singh guilty of sexual assault. The self-styled godman and leader of the Dara Sasha Sauda sect has been taken into custody and will reportedly be flown by helicopter to a jail in Haryana state before sentencing on Monday. Authorities told the Hindustan Times that at least 30 people had been killed across the region, with further 250 injured. Electricity supplies, mobile internet and cable television had been cut in parts of Haryana and Punjab states before the verdict is up to 200,000 members of the sect massed in Panchkula in a show of defiance and support. Live television footage on Friday afternoon showed smoke billowing above a railway station and petrol pump in Punjab that was allegedly set alight by supporters of Singh. Facebook Twitter Pinterest Ram Rahim Singh, leader of the Dara Sasha Sauda sect. Photograph Puneet Paranjpe, AFP, Getty. A curfew was imposed in three of Punjab's largest cities as hundreds of incidents of violence were reported. Journalists on the scene in Panchkula and Sursa, where the sect is headquartered, appeared to be singled out by the rioters. Reporters and crew from the Hindustan Times, India Today and News 18 have reported injuries or damage to their vehicles, while a van belonging to NDTV was set on fire. Police used tear gas and water cannon to contain the rioting. There were reports of reinforcements flooding into Panchkula, Sursa and parts of Punjab. Delhi is also on high alert with at least seven reports of arson across the Indian capital. Large gatherings have also been banned in Delhi on the basis of intelligence that sect supporters intend to demonstrate there on Saturday. India's Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, said the clashes were deeply distressing.